Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I am the Fire Escape Griller and I've been making a lot of low carb recipes lately. So I just want to let you know that today's video, it's not going to be one of those. Today, I'm going to show you how to make twice baked potatoes on your Weber Q. And of course, we're going to do it right here on the Fire Escape. Let's start today's recipe by taking a look at our ingredients. We've got a couple of scallions or green onions, a couple of russet baking potatoes that I just washed, some olive oil, half and half, good Kerrygold butter, my favorite. I've got some bacon that I cooked and cut up into pieces, and I've got a mixture of Jack and cheddar cheeses. The first thing we're gonna do is place our potatoes onto the Weber Q roasting rack and roasting shield. The next thing we're gonna do is just put a light coat of olive oil on both potatoes. And we are ready for the grill. Out here on the fire escape, I've been preheating the Weber Q for about 10 to 12 minutes, like always. And I'm gonna add the potatoes. And we're gonna cook these for about one hour until they're fork tender, adjusting the heat to medium. And of course, you wanna close your lid. Here we are now at about 45 minutes into our cook. I'm gonna see if these are done yet. I'll stick the fork in. They are definitely hard still. So I'm gonna have to give them another 10 to 15 minutes for sure. All right, so we're back. It's been just about one hour on the nose. I'm gonna try the fork test again. And yes, these are looking much more tender. Fork goes in and comes right out. So the first bake is done and I'm gonna go ahead and bring these potatoes inside. The potatoes now have been resting for about 15 minutes just to come down to a temperature where I can actually handle them. Otherwise they were just piping hot and you'll burn your hands. And what I'm going to do is cut them in half lengthwise and they're still a little bit hot so you got to be careful. These are some hot potatoes. The next thing you want to do is remove the flesh from each potato. I like to hold them with a dishcloth in one hand and then remove the flesh with a spoon. You need to leave a little bit of a border because you don't want to pierce or tear the skin of the potato. And just hollow it out like so until you're left with these nice little potato boats. The next thing we're gonna do is add half and half to our potatoes. Not too much, I just eyeball it. Next comes a tablespoon of good butter and then mash these together with a fork. And after about 30 seconds or a minute, it should look like this. Add the scallions that I chopped up, the bacon. Make sure you get every little bit of bacon out of there. And then we add copious amounts of delicious cheese, some good sea salt or kosher salt, and some fresh ground black pepper to taste. Mix all those ingredients together. And this is seeming a little bit dry to me, so I'm gonna add just a touch more of our half and half. Then mix that together, and this is definitely more of the consistency that I was looking for. Now it's time to add the mixture to the potato shells. Just take a spoon and stuff it right in there. And then once they're all filled, you just wanna to top them off with that remaining cheese for some extra cheesy goodness. Back out here on the fire escape, I'm placing the potatoes back out onto the roasting rack on the Weber Q. Close the lid. 
And here we are now. This is just about 20 minutes later. And these are ready to come inside and get into my belly. And here we have our final dish. Twice baked potatoes grilled on a fire escape in Brooklyn, New York. I've been tasting these a little bit and wow. That's good stuff. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what is there to say? Um, twice baked potatoes. If you've never tried them before, if you've never made twice baked potatoes before, give this recipe a try and let me know what you think in the comments below. Really, this is fantastic stuff. Leave a like, subscribe, and of course, keep on grilling. I mean, it's cheese, it's bacon, it's potatoes, some scallions, and some cream. I mean, what could possibly be bad about that?